Today uh, I'm in good mood, so uh, I want uh, to do something a little bit unusual. So we will start uh, to speak about chess composition. Okay, I'm not uh, a chess composer. Okay, I know that uh, some of chess players has uh, successes in chess uh, composition. For example, like Paul Keres, like Jan Timman, like Vladimir Akopian and so, some else too. But okay, I'm not uh, chess composer, at least not yet, but okay, I like uh, to solve uh, composition. Okay, uh, frankly speaking, I prepare to solve solve mate in problem, like mate in three, mate in four, okay, mate in two, in general, uh, too simple, okay, uh, there are some interesting positions, but in general too simple, okay, but mate in three or mate in four, it's, it's uh, something uh, uh, like uh, my preference to do. To solve, I mean. But uh, okay, so from what uh, I want uh, to, to start, this position uh, was uh, quite famous. It was studied by Henrik Kasparian, a f famous uh, chess uh, uh, composer and uh, also quite good chess grandmaster. So it was study I, uh, which I tried uh, to solve uh, when I was quite young. Okay, I don't remember. Pro probably I was 16 years old in this moment. And uh, uh, why to move and win, according to Kasparian. And uh, I was child. I tried to solve this. And okay, I'm thinking, thinking. Uh, didn't see any idea how to win this. Okay, so I decide, okay, what to do? I will uh, uh, open the book and we'll see a solution. And uh, a solution by Kasparian was uh, how to, uh, I need uh, probably to I move pieces. Yeah, you can use the mouse. Uh -huh. So what was solution of Kasparian? Solution of Kasparian was uh, nice. Bishop a5 check, king e3. It's a very interesting detail. So in solution, no annotation. So king e3, exclamation mark to king e3, and uh, 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 not considering other moves. Okay, so king e3, bishop d5. So, and now if rook a6, king b7, rook takes a5, g7, okay, it's at least theoretically winning, uh, but okay, practically bless, uh, black has uh, uh, draw with chances, even without pawn f f6, uh, as uh, we know, but okay, so main line is rook e8, king b7, Rook e7 check, king c6, rook g7, bishop f7, and now black uh, tries attack the pawn, king e4, bishop d2, important move, queen f5, king, king d5, rook takes g6, okay, bishop e6 mate, so... Okay, quite nice. I didn't see this, but uh, okay, uh, I <laughs> I had a very important reason for apologies because my problem. Uh, okay, it's not problem. Probably it was my luck that uh, I didn't, uh, when I solved this position, I didn't even consider first move on king e3, because by intuition, king must go to d3 to avoid check again with bishop from a5 in some variation. So, uh, when I solved this position, after bishop a5 check, I considered only king d3. So, and uh, after king d3, uh, Okay, uh, uh, white has no win. 
in this position. Because uh, now idea of Kasparian is not work. Because why? Because after bishop d5, black has very important trick which uh, uh, cannot be used with king on e3. Idea is rook e5. And now uh, there are two bishops on uh, uh, fifth rank, and there are no bishop b6 check. This is uh, important difference. And uh, white cannot win, because if g7, black uh, has rook e8 check. I will demonstrate. Rook e8 check, uh, king b7. Rook e7 check and take pawn and draw. And uh, other moves also cannot uh, uh, bring win for white. For example, if uh, bishop f1, king e4, bishop c4, now it's a little, uh, it looks like uh, same uh, to study, but uh, uh, there are. Uh, one tempo difference which is, which is decisive for result. And in this position, white cannot to play uh, two moves in a row, bishop d2 and king d5. So this is draw. Next move, rook take g6. And uh, many years ago, I was in Yerevan, uh, and I had opportunity to ask uh, Kasparian myself, uh, uh, Kasparian himself about uh, this. Uh, OK, uh, he was uh, already quite old, but OK, uh, I uh, 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 had some friends and they uh, called him by phone and uh, I asked him, do you remember this position? Yes, okay, I have a question. So uh, in my opinion, there are no solution after King D3. Uh, and uh, okay, uh, he, he told me, okay, uh, I will check. Okay, uh, uh, and uh, after approximately one hour, he called back, admit his mistake. So he missed a trick, uh, rook e5 after king d3. So all of uh, this he have seen, but rook e5, this trick, he missed. How many years between him composing and you calling him? Okay, okay so uh, okay, I saw this when I was uh, more or less uh, 16 years old, and uh, I called him, okay, I was more or less 21, so five years. But when did he compose it? Which year? Ah, ah when composed many, uh, okay, probably in uh, 1975, okay, it's quite old. Uh, okay, it's easy to check because it's quite famous position, but unfortunately without solution. Also, uh, okay, uh, once, uh, I read a quite interesting book about Karl Schlechter, uh, about his life, about his games. Too. Uh, and uh, he was also a chess composer. Uh, and uh, OK, I tried uh, to solve uh, some of his uh, composition. And uh, OK, I need uh, to put the position. So uh, empty board. So it was position, queen was on g6, no, no, queen, ah, king, firstly, okay, king on f2, queen g6, rook f6, bishop b7, knight c7, pawn b5, Knight d2, knight d4, d4. Uh, see. Uh, sorry, ah, pre uh, press OK. OK, so. So it was composition by uh, Karl uh, Schlechter. 
and uh, uh, made it, uh, why to move made in two I tried to solve okay it doesn't look like diff difficult and okay so I find solution by myself uh, so my solution was rook f4 and uh, not so difficult to see that uh, next move will be made. So, okay, I was happy, I solved it. But uh, then, I don't know why, I decided to check solution. And I was a little bit surprised. So, my solution was rook f, uh, how to, uh, I need move back. Okay, so, so rook f4 is uh, my solution. It's uh, totally enough uh, for mate in two, but uh, I check solution in the book uh, and uh, I was surprised because uh, in the book was a totally different solution. So in book solution was queen g7, okay. Okay, I didn't consider queen g7. This is also correct, but okay, I, I have seen rook f4, which is enough. I check again, uh, everything works. So for me, it's question. Is it the uh, error of Schlechter who uh, didn't see rook f4? Okay, or probably it's mistake by author of book. Probably he uh, forgot to put uh, uh, some pawn. Okay, for example, I realized that uh, uh, if add pawn on g5, I mean black pawn, pawn on g5, rook f4 doesn't work because black can take rook with pawn, so solution of uh, uh, Schlechter uh, will be alone in this position with pawn on g5. Maybe uh, author of book just forget uh, uh, to, to put this pawn. Okay, maybe error of Schlechter, I don't know. So if uh, to have idea that uh, rook f4 need to be uh, only solution, my proposition is uh, uh, to add uh, black pawns one on h6 and another one uh, on h4. So queen g7 uh, doesn't work because c5 takes d4 and uh, there are no mate uh, queen g7, queen g5. And uh, 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 so rook f4 will be only solution and also some kind of improvement that after king takes f4, white will uh, not have choice, queen f5 or queen g3 mate, so queen f5 will be only way to mate. So, okay, it's, uh, it's uh, my small successes in composition. But... Uh, Strangely enough, I have uh, uh, some compositions in uh, opening, and uh, I want uh, to show you. So uh, now from initial position, I will try to explain what I mean. So I will put completely natural position on the board after not so many moves. So, okay, we will play e4, d6, d4, knight f6, nothing wired, knight c3, e5, knight f3, knight d7, okay, Henem system of Philidor defense, bishop c4, bishop e7, castle, castle, Okay, and now, okay, according to theory, a4 is main move, but okay, queen e2, okay, maybe not the most popular, but normal move, okay. e takes d4, okay, knight takes d4, okay, for example, a6, okay, maybe not the best, but it looks like nothing special, rook e1, Rook e8. So this position. 
So it looks like totally normal position just after opening. And uh, OK, so it's question. Uh, how spectator can assess this position? So white is beta or equal or there are something concrete in this position. White is uh, okay. White is slightly better. So white play many moves uh, like bishop f4, bishop g5, h3. Okay, but uh, okay, I agree more or less with such assessment. But uh, if image that uh, white play h3, totally natural move and. Uh, for example, black uh, cannot allow, uh, black uh, doesn't want allow bishop f8, bishop g5 and decide to play h6. What do you think about this position? Is, is it the same assessment or not? Or, or different? Also white is slightly better or, or there are some difference? Somebody has ideas about it or not? The white knight square bishop has a good square on e3, but the <laughs> black light square bishop doesn't have a very good square. Okay, uh, okay, but uh, firstly, I told that it's some kind of composition. So uh, there are po positional points, of course, but probably there are something special, uh, tactical in this position. Yes. Yes, yes, it's uh, very important. So, what can I say now? So, in this position, this position, okay, uh, your assessment uh, is correct. So, white is uh, just slightly better. Uh, if uh, white wants, uh, white can force draw immediately. But, this... Uh, h3, h6, assessment is completely different. White is winning by force here. I, I, now I will explain what is different. So, after h3, a6, white has very clear way to win. Bishop f7 check, king f7, knight e6, not queen c4 because d5, so knight e6, king e6, queen c4 check. So d5 is forced because king e5 f4 mate, it's easy. So d5, e takes d5, king f7 only move, king d6, rook e6 mate, king f5, queen d3 mate, so king f7, d6 check, king uh, f8 or g6, d takes c7, and white uh, wins the queen and totally winning. But, so, but this is with uh, h3, h6. Without h3, h6, it's very big and important difference. Because if uh, here, white realize same motif, bishop f7, king f7, knight e6, king e6, queen c4, d5, so... Till this moment, the same. Okay, uh, here it's uh, one important moment. Uh, white can also take with knight, with very strong attack, but uh, black has two pieces up. According to computer, uh, only move for black, bishop c5. After knight takes d5, bishop c5 is the best and only move. And assessment of computer about equal. Okay, but variation is extremely complicated. Okay, but what is wrong with uh, our plot? So e takes d5, king f7, okay, king f5, queen d3, it's losing, so d6, so if king f8, d takes c7, white wins, but now king g6 suddenly. Of course, white has draw, queen d3 check, king f7, uh, queen c4, but if d takes c6, black has, d takes c7, black has, queen takes c7, queen takes c7, and bishop d6. 
This is big difference. With pawn on h3, white can simply take on d6 and go to h2. But now, <laughs> Uh, only uh, what uh, white can do is take rook, black uh, uh, of course take queen and uh, go with rook somewhere to rook, uh, rook e1 or rook a2. Okay, and this position is complicated. End game, in my opinion, its uh, position is about equal. Because uh, black has uh, many pieces, black has plan b5, bishop b7, okay. Of course, without uh, bishop c1 and bishop c7, white is much, much better here. But uh, in this position, okay, it's about equal. And according to computer also, it's about equal. So this is uh, what I wanted to see. It's uh, my composition from the opening. So difference between h3 and h6 and without. And uh, OK, so this is was about composition. Uh, I can uh, finish uh, to, uh, to speak today uh, about composition. OK, so <coughs> I have a. I am living in Lviv, in West Ukraine, and I have a, a chess school uh, for children. And uh, sometimes I'm organizing uh, uh, competition uh, for solving composition. So uh, usually I'm giving... Uh, okay, last time it was 11 position mate in two, 11 position mate in three, and 11 position mate in four. And OK, so of course, I uh, choose myself uh, position. OK, I wanted position must be interesting. But uh, what to do? OK, how to organize uh, it? And I decide, OK. So not depends mate in two, or mate in three, or, or mate in four. Uh, I will. Uh, uh, put the rule. So just please tell me first uh, correct move. It will be enough, even if mate in four. So uh, first move is correct. So uh, okay, for uh, uh, mate in two, you have one point each correct solve it, uh, mate in three, two points, mate in four, three points. So just please put correct first move and nothing else. So this is my rules. OK, this is competition for uh, children. So this is my choice. OK, and now, OK, this is composition, but of course, uh, mainly I am practical player. And for, uh, OK, most of uh, spectators uh, are practical uh, player too. And uh, for today, I choose one game, which I want uh, to show you with my annotation. So uh, from initial position, yeah. please. So, or maybe, okay, okay, I will show the game, okay, then I will show you another interesting moment from game uh, uh, Kasparov short, Linares 1990, but okay, we'll start with game. So I was black in Turkish Liga 2016. My opponent was Russian uh, grandmaster Boris Savchenko, very creative player. Okay, I was black, he played e4. Okay, I know he's very aggressive player. Okay, so I decide uh, to, before the game, I decide to play it. Uh, as solid as possible. So e5 was my choice. Knight f3, knight c6. Okay, usually he preferred to play scotch, but okay, against me he decided to play Spanish. Bishop b5, okay, a6, bishop a4, knight f6, castle, bishop e7. He played d3, of course, another option is rook e1, but okay, he played d3, I played d6, he played c3, 
Okay. I play castle. Okay. N nothing special. Okay. Usually, white uh, player here not thinking during the long time. Uh, so usually. Uh, White plays here, rook e1, or h3, or knight bd2, something like this, okay, approximately. Well, all of this, uh, uh, these moves are natural and, of course, possible, but suddenly uh, my opponent uh, starts to think very long time in this position, at least more than 20 minutes I was really su surprised at what he is thinking about, it's nothing concrete yet. Okay, so after such a deep sinking, he chooses a little bit strange move for me, bishop c2. Mm -hmm. Okay, bishop c2. Okay, it's also possible. Okay, probably he wants uh, to play d4. Next move, or if I play rook e8 or h6. Okay, it's not so clear that uh, it's so strong because uh, black has come some contraplay, for example, even h6, d4, bishop g4, d5, knight b8, so it's not so clear. Okay, so black has white choice, so many moves are possible here, of course. Okay, but I decide if it's allowed already, so I play d5. Because before it was not possible, when bishop was on a4, it was possible bishop takes e6 and knight takes e5, but now it's possible. Okay, I decide it uh, must be not uh, a bad move at all. So he played knight bd2. Natural move, okay, I played rook e8 now, also natural. Okay, sometimes in uh, this kind of position, it's important uh, to check uh, opportunity d3, d4 from white side. And uh, for example, uh, uh, for this goal, rook e8 is quite important move, because now d4 it's not strong. Because I am just taking e takes d4, and after e5, this is idea if knight goes somewhere from f6, he takes d4 with advantage in the center, but now d3 black has. And after bishop d3, knight g4, white pawn on e5 is weak, and after e takes f6, d takes c2, f takes e7. C takes d1, okay, so black is just winning. So this motif doesn't work. So rook e8, uh, uh, I avoid in some variation, e7 takes f8 with check. So he plays the here a4. Okay, so I understand s some activity on queen's side. Of course, I could consider move like a5 or b6 even. If b6, uh, that's also important that uh, d4 doesn't work b because same reason. C takes d4, e5, d3. So no difference because uh, sometimes uh, after d4, uh, there is motive bishop uh, g4, but uh, a little bit not in this position, because, uh, for example, h3, bishop h5, e takes d5, knight d5. Uh, now, uh, diagonal is weak, and black has a uh, very strong move, bishop e4, with idea e takes d4, queen b3. But okay, e takes d4, e5, d3 is correct and very good for black. So b6 was completely possible. Okay, black uh, has normal position. White need to play something natural, like rook e1, for example. And probably e takes d5 and knight e4, also possible plan. So b4, b, b6 was possible, a5 was possible. But okay, I decide to play bishop f8, also totally normal move. He played a5. Okay. Surely white has no special threat. Okay, bishop a4 is not 
big threat because black has bishop d7. So, okay, normal move in this position was h6, for example, to prepare bishop e6. If bishop a4, bishop d7, okay, so normal move. But, okay, I decided that uh, my opponent play a little bit passive, so I will try to have initiative. So, I de decide to play b5, he takes. I take. So, okay, my plan is simple. To put bishop on b7, queen on d7 or c7, rook a d8, and, uh, and uh, have all the pieces uh, in good position. But, okay, in the game it wasn't so simple for me. White uh, took on d5. Okay, maybe more flexible uh, was uh, rook e1 because uh, uh, d5, d4 from black side hardly considered like positional threat for white. But okay, but anyway, after rook e1, b5 is uh, the best move for black. Uh, it's uh, very important that d4 now doesn't work because it takes d5. E, e5, d takes c3. After e takes f6, rook takes e1, and c takes d4. So black has material advantage. So if you are playing such type of position, and pawns e5, d5, you need always follow d3, d4. Sometimes it's really unpleasant. For example, like in game Dominguez Kamsky. Okay, so I tried to be uh, more or less accurate with this. But uh, anyway, it was not so easy. So he took my pawn. I took with uh, knight, with queen not so natural. So he played rook e1. OK, and now I played bishop b7. OK, it looks like suit for my plan. But uh, in fact, it's a serious uh, inaccuracy. So. In Spanish, uh, quite often, bishop on c8 uh, uh, is better than uh, bishop on b7 for black if white has pawn on d3. So, uh, and even sometimes in anti-martial, black uh, has bishop on b7 and uh, they play in b plan bishop b7 c8 or if bish white bishop on b3 or on a2 and then bishop e6 uh, uh, to exchange dangerous bishop. So here was no reason uh, to play bishop b7. So much more precise was b5 immediately, and then decide where to put bishop. Probably on f5, probably on g4, probably on b7. Okay, it depends of white moves, of course. So, but I played bishop b7. So what uh, I expected? Uh, okay, so. What I was thinking about, I was thinking this, I am totally okay. Knight c4, it's not threat because queen c7 and rook a8. So I expected he will play something like knight e4, and I will play queen d7, uh, and then rook a8 probably, and normal position. But uh, he played move which. After long sync again, so he played bishop b3. The first time uh, it uh, looked me strange. Okay, what is this? Knight f4. Okay, but okay, it's maybe not so simple. So I started to, uh, to calculate and uh, quite quickly understood that knight f4 is not a good move because knight e4 is strong and white has positional threat to take my knight and uh, also I cannot take d3 pawn because if I take with knight knight fg5 and then queen h5 it's winning for white if I play uh, 
queen takes d3, bishop f4, queen takes d5, one, rook takes d1, e, e takes f4, also it looks very unpleasant, white has many possibilities, even knight eg5, so, so uh, knight f4 doesn't work, so what to do? Okay, my first idea was to play b5, but suddenly I have seen that he has threat, and his threat is d4 now. And if b I will play b5, he will play d4, and uh, suddenly I am in real danger, because uh, uh, he has uh, some tactical threats, and uh, not easy to find a way to block them. Okay, uh, now I understand that I'm already in big trouble in this position. What to do? So I played uh, rook e7. Okay, this move uh, uh, looks ugly a little bit. It's, of course, it's not natural, but uh, I didn't see another good way for black because d4 is very serious threat. Okay, maybe uh, reasonable alter if a queen d7 knight c4 is extremely unpleasant if queen c7 knight e3 idea knight takes e3 bishop takes e3 and then knight g5 so it's not not easy for me okay uh, so reasonable choice was h6 here and after d4 knight a5 so and after d takes e5, knight takes b3, knight takes b3. Okay, I'm I'm pawned down, but I have some compensation. Okay, queen c7 is possible. Maybe even knight c7 is possible with idea to put knight on e6. Okay, I have some compensation, but uh, okay, objectively, uh, black is fighting for draw here. Okay, anyway, my position is woes after bishop b3, but... Okay, I decide to, to play uh, rook e7, although I didn't like my position, and uh, I have seen many good moves uh, f from white. Okay, he played uh, knight c4, of course uh, there are some alternatives, but okay, knight c4 is natural move and good, so he is attacking the pawn. Of course, f6 I cannot play because knight takes b6. Positionally f6 is good, but tactically doesn't work. So, queen c7. And uh, now, very natural from white was what which I expected. This was bishop g5. So f6 doesn't work because knight takes b6. So rook must go back to e8. And knight is 3. Quite strong move. So black has no choice. Need to take. Bishop is 3. Now knight g5 unpleasant threat. If h6, okay, now. For example, knight d2 is a good move. This idea, queen g4, or knight c4, after rook d8. So, unpleasant position for me. Okay, maybe it's possible to defend. But, uh, okay. After rook e7, he played knight c4, queen c7, but uh, now he played uh, knight e3 immediately. So, more or less with same idea, but uh, it uh, can be considered like inaccuracy, because uh, now I have no obligation to take on e3. So, uh, and uh, I use it by opportunity uh, to avoid uh, exchange of knight and played knight f6. With bishop on g5, I could not allow this pleasure for myself. Okay, uh, of course, white has a quite good position uh, here too. And he played uh, knight g5. Okay, 
mm, not sure that this is best move for for white at all. Okay, white has choice. For example, very normal way was knight f5, rook d7, bishop g5, knight d5, and now okay, d4 for example. After e takes d4, white has choice. It's possible to take with sum of knight. Also possible c takes d4 with idea rook, rook c1. For example, rook c8, rook c1, queen b8. Okay, white is a uh, more active here, but uh, okay, black can try to defend. So objectively, uh, in this moment, I'm in trouble. But uh, uh, fortunately for me, uh, before my opponent uh, uh, had a uh, lot of thinking and uh, I had a big a a time advantage here. So it's, it was good for me. So and now he started to, so bishop g5 is normal move. Ah, uh, ah, but he didn't play. Bishop g5 was strong. He played knight e3. Ah, uh, ah, so knight e3 is also normal, but knight f5 was strong. Knight d5 not so strong because after knight takes and rook d8, uh, white need to lost tempi for defend bishop and uh, black has good uh, peace coordination. But okay, he played knight g5. Looks logical. Okay, white has strong threat knight e4, but uh, okay, I have time. So I played rook d8. So natural and good move. I'm not, just not allowed to play knight e4. So he played queen e2. He wants knight e4 again, but okay, I played knight a5. So. I am fighting. So not so easy for white. And now it's hard choice. So bishop a2 or bishop c2. So bishop c it's logical because white has uh, a square e4 for his knight, but of course uh, bishop on a2 much more active for some tactical reason, for some threat to f7, so again uh, uh, he thought uh, a lot uh, in this position and played bishop a2, more aggressive move. Okay, my move is very natural, h6. So. Of course, knight f3 it's uh, very passive and black has excellent play because white just lost uh, many tempi. Okay, knight e4 it's possible, but uh, compensation for the pawn is not enough. I am just taking twice and uh, white cannot back, uh, take back to a6 because bishop d3. Uh, only move will be c4, and it's obvious that position of white is ugly here. And if queen g4, it's important I have queen c6. I, I, I cannot uh, go with bishop, because if bishop b7, knight f5, or bishop h7, knight d5, but queen c6 exists, this move, and white cannot create anything special. And for example, if knight f5, I take, take, and uh, uh, white uh, hardly has uh, enough compensation for pawn because rook takes e5 not threat because of mate, so I have time for b5 to prepare knight c4 because after bishop b1, g6, and knight c4 is coming. So, okay, white has chances for draw, of course, but objectively black is better in this position. Okay, but he ch uh, chose very sharp line, b4 after h6. Okay. Uh, my pieces uh, looks better than his, so 
during the game, okay, I understood that position is tactical, but uh, uh, I was uh, almost sure that uh, it must be better for me because of better coordination of pieces. But according to computer, surprisingly, position is about equal. But okay, it's computer have different vision. Okay, so I took knight. Of course, not knight c6, because knight e4, so he took my knight. Okay, now also not so obvious choice. So by intuition, I decide that uh, weak pawn on e5, not so important, like uh, control uh, uh, c4 square. So I decide to play b5, also b takes e5, also was a reasonable choice. So I played b5. And he played knight f5. Rook d7, bishop g5. So he wins the pawn, but uh, okay, I played queen c6. Unfortunately, uh, I cannot realize the uh, same idea with different move order. I mean, rook takes d3, if bishop f6, queen c6, because white has knight h6. And uh, I cannot take queen g4, if king h7, queen g4 again, and white threats, it's more strong than uh, black swan. But okay, uh, I played natural move queen c6, and I was very happy with my position. So I have threat of mate, so queen f1, very passive, f3 on f4, okay, diagonal uh, g1, a7 will be weak, so all my pieces looks excellent, so I was sure I, I am better here. <laughs> Strangely enough, according to computer, position is equal, but uh, proposition uh, of computer here, it's not like human. Knight h4, and after rook takes d3, knight f3. This is proposition of computer with assessment, position about equal. <laughs> But okay, it's uh, not human chess. <laughs> so he played f3. Okay, I took pawn. So queen takes e5. And looks like uh, white has many weakness and probably black uh, maybe has some winning way because f3 is weak, uh, diagonal weak, pawns weak, uh, pieces not so well coordinated. Okay, I'm... Uh, I had uh, much more time than my opponent in this position. So he uh, already was in very strong time trouble. So all uh, perspectives for, uh, for win the game. But not so clear. So, Of course, uh, very tempting to calculate idea with rook takes f3, g takes f3, queen takes f3 with some mating threats. Okay, it's one opportunity. Okay, what else? Okay, white also has some threats. Okay, knight h6 can be threat, or bishop f6, or knight e7 check in some variation, so it's not so easy. Of course, I consider it a nice trick, rook d5. It's not so difficult. Oh, cool to see. Bishop takes d5, rook takes d5. So, okay. I have seen this during the game. Okay, if, and if uh, white moving with queen, uh, queen c5 check and take pieces, and it must be winning for me. Uh, but, uh, and, uh, Okay, according to computer, it uh, was really best choice for me, but uh, it's not so. It was uh, quite difficult to estimate this during the game. Of course, White forced to play Bishop F6, Rook takes E5, Bishop takes E5. Okay, so materially White has even some advantage, but okay, uh, Rook on A1 uh, not in. Uh, play yet and pieces a little bit hanging. So queen c5, I have seen this. So uh, white has no choice because king h1 f6 losing pieces. So just a moment. 
вот он мюнхер а не то ремембо вариэйшн Just a moment. So bishop f6 surely was only move. Um, how it was this variation? So queen c5. Ah, so uh, knight d4, yes. Knight d4, correct move, yes. So king h1, f6 is losing. Uh, so knight d4, uh, uh, correct move. I have seen this during the game. And uh, queen takes c3. And knight e6. And I thought uh, it must be okay for white, but uh, according to computer, black is better. Bishop c5, important check here, because king h1 not possible, queen takes f3. Such tactic. So knight takes c5, queen takes c5, king h5, one, it's uh, forced. And now it's very important that uh, black has time to push pawn uh, till b3. So b4, and for example, rook e2, b3, and then put bishop d5, and black has winning chances here, although white has uh, quite good chances uh, to create something like fortress. So. But okay, surely that uh, black is better and white is fighting for draw. But okay, it was uh, opportunity. So it wasn't easy. So okay, I had time. So I, I had all and I started to calculate. Uh, no, 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 sorry. So uh, queen c6. So of course. Rook takes f3. I started to calculate and I was happy with result and took on f3. So what was my calculation? Okay. My calculation was rook takes f3. Okay, obviously he need to take. Queen takes f3. So queen g2 mate is threat. So, okay, what? So there is knight h4 or queen g3. Okay, queen g3, queen takes f5. Okay, I have a pawn against exchange. Uh, white king is weak. So, okay, I, I have uh, assessment. So black is at least better. So, so knight h4 I consider it and I find... Uh, which it seemed me during the game very beautiful way to win. So queen h1 check, king f2, bishop c5 check, queen takes c5, queen h2. He cannot go to e3 because queen d2 mate. So king f1. Of course, black has already perpetual check, but okay, uh, I uh, wanted to win, and it seemed to me that I had to find something, so queen h3 check, I was happy. K uh, king e2, it's not possible because queen d3 check and knight g4, king f2, knight g4, so king g1 only move and knight g4. Okay, so mate from h1, okay. So bishop f7 only way for white. I cannot take because too many checks, but king h8, and it seems that I'm winning here, okay. Knight g6 check, king h7, knight f8, rook takes f8, okay. White is losing. So it was my conclusion, I am winning, and I was very happy to... Yes, yes, queen f8, it's correct, but we will come back to it. Yes, queen f8, I miss it. So I took on f3, and end of game was extremely emotion for both. So he took my rook, queen takes f3, and he took on f7. It was shock for me. I was sure, okay, I'm losing now. So, how I could not consider this move, check, we take it, it 
was shock for me. Okay, king f7, king queen e6 check, king g6, knight h4. Oh, what is okay? King h7, bishop g6. Okay, king h8, he has queen g3, and okay, w without bishop f7, I planet queen takes f5, and, but, but now okay, I'm losing. Okay, but what to do? Okay. I played king h8, what, what can I do? Okay, so I'm losing already. But, but here is very short time, okay. Uh, during the game I was sure, okay, he will play now queen g3 and I'm losing. But suddenly he is sinking and in last few seconds he played knight h4. What is this? Okay, but uh, in fact, probably uh, hard to believe for me that uh, he didn't see queen g3 because queen g3 is very natural defensive resource. Probably uh, after bishop d7, f7, he was sure that he is winning here. And probably he was unlucky, unlucky to find uh, that after queen g3, I can make draw after queen h1 check, king f2, knight g4, it's only way for draw. Now white need to take because king e2, queen e4, white is losing, so, and queen take h2, white cannot go to e3 because queen d2 mate, so king f1, queen h1, and perpetual check, which white cannot avoid, king f2, queen h2. Probably uh, in last few seconds he uh, have seen this, and uh, but he wanted to win, and he played knight, I don't know, I, I was in big shock, so I'm not sure if I would find uh, drawish way after queen g3. Okay, I had enough time, probably I would be able to find this, it's objectively not so difficult. But he played knight h4 and now, okay, I see, so now I can r realize my idea. So I start to check and play bishop c5. And it, it was real shock for him already. I playing bishop c5, he's 20 seconds on the clock, his hands are shaking now. And, and okay, uh, probably he calculated this line, didn't see queen, C8, queen f8 resource. Okay, uh, so uh, it was draw. Queen c5 was correct move, and uh, in this variation, white has draw. Black has nothing more. Okay, I have perpetual check. If I try knight g4, he has queen f8 or even rook e8 firstly and then <laughs> queen f8. <laughs> Such way for draw. But okay, if you have uh, 20 seconds on the board <laughs> to calculate this uh, in the head, it's almost impossible. So with uh, shaking hands <laughs> after bishop c5, he played bishop e3, but queen h1 now, rook d2 now, king g3, queen takes h2 mate, so, ah, uh, b b b bishop on f7, sorry, so bishop f7 was king h8, so it was this position, so he played knight h4 here, so bishop c5, it was shot, queen takes c5 was draw, so, but he played bishop e3 in very strong time trouble, and this is losing, because rook d2, rook e4, knight e4, and uh, now he resigned, because after queen takes e4, rook takes e2, king takes e2, queen takes e4, I am winning because my bishop controlled f8 uh, square. So, so, this was very t tensionable game. And uh, so this uh, game uh, which I wanted to sh uh, show you today and uh, at the end uh, I, I want to tell you about one story. It was uh, Linares 1990.
Okay, I played there, but uh, okay, I analyzed it during the tournament games from uh, another players, especially games of Gary Kasparov, of course. And one of uh, very interesting uh, game was uh, Kasparov with white against short. Uh, but uh, I need uh, to put position. Yep. Please empty, I, mm -hmm. I remember position. So it was pawn, 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 it was interesting story, tick, 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 tick. Knight on e3, sorry, it's rook, rook on f1, knight on e3, bishop c1, queen on d1, knight on f3, black knight on e7, queen on d7, King C8. King on G2. Uh, I will s must see again this position to check if everything is correct. Yes, I think everything is correct. So here, bl uh, white to move, Kasparov playing with white, uh, yes. And last uh, move uh, of black was f7, f6, short played f6, okay. Uh, what I understood, so, uh, okay, it looks like uh, both kings uh, are not so safe, so black wants to play knight g4. Uh, with pawn on f7, uh, knight g4 was not so good because knight takes g4, queen takes g4, knight g5. Uh, queen takes d1, rook takes d1 and not so easy to defend pawn f7. So if rook h f8, rook f3, so, so f6, uh, quite logical. Okay, maybe not only move, but quite logical, so white, black prepared knight f7 or knight g4, depends, so. Okay, I don't know how to uh, assess this position, it's quite complicated position, okay. How to play, also big question, big choice for white. Okay, uh, rook d3, it's positional move to, to create some pressure to d6, also possible plot b4 and then b5 probably. Okay, black has contraplay with knight g4, so... Okay, maybe if uh, uh, avoid knight g4, uh, knight d4 can be considered. So, okay, very rich position, uh, big choice, but uh, uh, K Kasparov uh, played in very original way, but uh, in his style. He played c5 here. He gave pawn. Okay, I, I will put in the board, so it will be better, so. It's totally.
so C5, okay, C5 was not only move, uh, but he, uh, Kasparov played this. Can you just make sure that you like stand on that now? Uh, okay. Side, yeah, yeah. Just like next to the board. Yes, so okay. So everybody can see it. Yeah. So, and uh, Queen B3. This is, was idea of pawn sacrifice. And uh, when you are analyzing game, it's uh, very important try to find what is critical moment. So, so and uh, when I analyze this game, okay, this position seems to me uh, something like critical. So white uh, gave pawn, okay, uh, create threat rook d1, okay, somewhere knight c4, knight takes b6, uh, okay, so it's uh, sure is that uh, Initiative in this position, it's very important. And uh, short uh, uh, played here king b8. Okay, by intuition I didn't like this move, although computer um, telling that this is good move and uh, according to computer uh, black is even slightly better after king b8 but okay it's very complicated okay i am not computer and uh, in this time computer uh, was not so popular like now and uh, i wanted uh, uh, to understand this position with my own head <laughs> and uh, okay so what is main threat? Rook d1. Okay, understand. So, uh, okay, black has some possibilities on h line. So, it was uh, obvious what is the most natural move for black now. What do you think? Yes, 9g4. Obvious, it's the most natural move because rook d1 now is not possible. Take and take. So I want to change knight. Okay, knight c4, I have knight h2, knight h2, queen h3. If queen f3, even intermediate check queen h5, queen h5, knight g4, f5, and it looks like uh, uh, black's attack is stronger than white one. Okay, so at least looks promising. S but okay. Maybe there is some problem, so it's, they are stronger and master, probably they could see, uh, see something. And uh, of course, okay, this square is weak. So I started to think, okay, maybe white can utilize it somehow. Okay, takes, takes, and queen f7. And question, what to do now? Mm -hmm. Double attack. Okay, it was also a question for myself, but uh, I found the solution. Can you find what is the best for black now?
Sorry? Rook H G8. Maybe. Strangely enough, I didn't even consider this move, but maybe possible. Possible to, but take an H3 maybe. Yes, but maybe something like E5. Okay, we can check at least. Sorry. No, a a queen takes knight, rook d7, and a queen is trapped. But e5, if uh, you take, I can take and go to g5. So, okay, rook g8, I didn't consider. Maybe it's possible, but okay, maybe e5 is dangerous. Okay, but uh, black has something else. Can you try to find a better way? But uh, you understand correct ideas? That to trap a uh, queen, but it's possible to realize same idea with better way. Can you try? Knight d5? Knight d5? No, knight cannot move. Queen h3, king g1. And? Queen h6. What? The bishop on c1. Oh, that's good. So, what is the best move for black now? Sorry? E4? E4? No, a queen takes E4, you mean? Okay, uh, rook E3, probably it's. Uh, uh, out. Or maybe just take bishop. Okay. Rook D7. Rook D7, I can just take. Queen H3 check. Yes. Then the discover rook that might the queen. Okay, sorry, uh, what you mean? Takes? What? What is your idea? I can queen H3 check. Okay, king. Rook H7, then rook H7, check, take. Okay, uh, uh, you are very close, but yes, yes, rook H7, yes. In this position, Rook h7 works. And white cannot take uh, knight because queen h3 check to protect rook and then bishop h8. And very in very beautiful way, queen is trapped <laughs> on e7. Uh, so uh, it, it's, uh, but it's not all. That, uh, uh, important that uh, start uh, with queen h3 not so precise because after rook h7, White has knight h4 opportunity if queen d7, knight g6. So uh, the most precise way, rook h7, and okay, black has threat queen h3, bishop h8. Anyway, so the best for white here is to play h4. It's now queen d7, bishop f4. Queen e8, queen b e6, queen d7, uh, draw, it's uh, mo uh, the most logical result in this position. Uh, also interesting that <laughs> just yesterday I checked this position with computer and computer gave another excellent line. He gave 
bishop h6. <laughs> and the uh, best way for black, rook d h8. <laughs> this is computer, it's, this is not me. <laughs> bishop takes g7, rook h2, knight h2, queen e2 check. Rook f2, rook takes h2, king takes, takes, and perpetual check. <laughs> so knight g4 was correct move, and uh, oh, okay, uh, king b8 uh, uh, choice of short also was, according to computer, good. Uh, and position is totally playable uh, for black uh, and for white too, but uh, knight g4 it's more or less like forcing way to draw in this position. And uh, okay, so I analyze it, this, and the next day I am asked sh uh, short in the restaurant. So you remember position after queen b3? Yes, okay, so why you didn't play knight g4? Okay, he answered, okay, because it's dangerous. After takes, takes, and uh, queen f7, okay, rook h7, okay, he answered. Queen takes c7, okay, check on h3, and bishop h8. He was really surprised. Uh, and uh, uh, first ho was reaction, uh, he uh, asked me, uh, but Kasparov knows about this. Okay, I don't know, I didn't tell him. <laughs> and uh, he immediately uh, came to Kasparov to explain him this. And uh, then uh, he came back to me that, uh, okay, uh, uh, they discussed it with Kasparov and uh, Kasparov proposed idea that h4, bishop f4 with perpetual. <laughs> So it was just story, just a story. Okay, thanks for your attention. Well.